Here's what's happened so far. Kolo and his companions quest to bring them to Hotto. Kolo, okay. Kolo and companion, Kolo and his companions' his quest brings them to Hotto, where they are asked by the Priestess Miko to deal with a monster that has been troubling the village. The monster turns out to be a hoax perpetrated by two young children who ask the party to help them investigate the nearby volcano. There they spot the vicious dragon Tatsunaga and return to Hotto to warn the villagers. Shortly after they arrive there, Tatsunaga attacks and swallows Miko whole. But fortunately, our heroes are able to fend them off. Our heroes make their way to the dragon's lair deep in the heart of Mount Huji and slay mighty Tatsunaga. From within the beast's belly, the seeing glass glows brightly, restoring Ryu to human form. He asks Kolo to give his regards to Miko before fading away. Hotto has finally been freed from the dragon's curse, and the party head back there to tell the villagers that they have nothing more to fear. Upon hearing of Miko's fate, the people of Hotto are perturbed at the thought of the world without her firm hand to guide them. But Atsuo gives a rousing speech, and they vow to work together to meet the future head on. With the village seemingly in good hands, the party leave to continue on their quest to conquer the Lord of Shadows. How's it going everyone? It's your boy LFJ, episode 41 of our Dragon Quest XI playthrough. I actually have no idea where we're going now. I trust, I trust, I expect we go straight back to hot, uh, the volcano. Ask around Hotto for more information about the volcano. Our lives must live on. Um, we shall not forget. You seek a forge in the heart of the mountain, hidden from our eyes. I cannot help you. There is one who may know. The milks, Milko's, Miko's maid. The milk's maid. The old milk maid. I don't know what she'll say now that we've destroyed the dragon. I wonder if she'll even bring it up. I also wonder. So we've had two full episodes, and Jade hasn't had a single line of dialogue. We've had one full episode, and Serena and Eric haven't had a single line of dialogue. Like, they've literally... I don't know if it, the voice actors were busy on these days of development, but... They've not spoken in a long while. Okay, we paid Ryu. We saved Ryu. Uh, yes, there's something I need to know. Do you know anything about the Legendary Forge? Ah, uh, the table of the sacred forge. Words half forgotten. The volcano's peak. Okay, cool. None may go there. Oh, it's the um. So last episode on the map, there was a place called Entry Forbidden. That's where we got to go. And now there's the key for it. Sweet. Cool. That's all I need to know. We're off. We're off to make the sword of light. I'm making a bet right now. Who will talk first between Eric? Jade and Serena. My vote goes to Eric, but all three of them have not spoken in a very, very long time. Okay, so we're going to try and speed run because I feel like the last episode we've been going back and forth between Hotto and Mount Fuji. So we can be nice and quick about this and not get into any fights. I wonder if I could have zoomed to Mount Fuji. Probably. Doesn't matter, we're here now. Also, it's Mount Fuji, not Mount Fuji. Fuji's a real place, Fuji is not. I mean, I'm gonna grab uh, a third clump of this lava stuff now. Lava lump. Third clump of this lava lump. So, this way. Now we've got the Crucible Key as well, which will lead us to the Legendary Forge so we can make the Sword of Light. And then what? Then we fight the Lord of Shadows and it's game over. We Well done. Credit rolls. You got a password for me? Thank you. I'm never ever doing the 2D mode, just so you know. I played it once when we first unlocked that mode and it was the longest painful most experience of my life. It's just awkward. Like, it's in the style of the really, really old games, and there's a reason why games don't go in that format anymore. It's just long.
Rab Silbando and Hendrik have literally been doing all the talking. Here we go. The other three feel like such side characters right now. <laughs> Jade? What's happening? Yay! <laughs> Two episodes of silence. She finally breaks it. If Serena talks next and the other three don't talk at all, then it's just weird. It's just weird writing. Ah, it's beautiful! This is the place we saw in the vision. I'd know that decor anywhere. I wish there was some sort of word count, because Silvano definitely talks the most out of anyone. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's make a new Sword of Light so we can go chop the Lord of Shadows down to size. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Um... Is this it? Let's do it! Taking shape. I'll take it from here. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. I'm not about to let you steal all the glory, honey. If you get to have a go, we all do. And besides, we saw in the vision that the old heroes all had a bash. We'd best follow their lead, eh? Yep, we're all in this together. Okay, everyone's saying a line. Serena, this is your chance. May the new sword of light be tempered by the resolve of all those who would drive darkness from this world. Yeah! <laughs> well, I'm game if you all are. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> If I hadn't met you, I'd never have been able to save Mia and make things right. Now it's my turn to help you. Damn, Eric. Let's get this sword made and the world saved! I've got people to entertain and a promise to my puppy to keep. <laughs> Eleanor, Erwin, your boy turned out all right. And now I'm gonna help make sure he fulfills his destiny. I thought it was my job to stand behind the Luminary. It's not. I'm supposed to stand beside him. We all are. I hereby pledge, as a Knight of Heliodor, to fight to the end for the cause of the Luminary. May I be his sword, his shield, his unswerving companion. Finish this without you. I'm stronger now, thanks to you. For the luminary. Ah, uh, 
did we do it? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Pick that thing up and give it a swing. Hello, it quite a sort of light. Your allies are assembled. You have the means to take to the air. And now you possess the Sword of Light. The time to face the Lord of Shadows is at hand. What he said. Let's finish this. The fact that we had a big cutscene where everyone spoke makes me feel like we are getting to the uh, to the bare bones of it now. It's finally time, Kolo. We're finally going to do it. Let us use the Calamitous Flute, the Calamus Flute, to summon Cetacea. She'll be able to take us to the Fortress of Fear. I'm sure of it. Um, how do I do that? <laughs> Havens above? The battle, yeah, the battleground. As I say, where can I zoom to that we can uh, fly from? Um, oh my gosh, did not save it since the last episode. We'll do some forging as well. I mean, not save, I mean heal. Well, we'll save it now as well anyway. Do we have, we do have new things to make. Ooh. Okay, we can make a goddess's tiara. Let's see. Flourish. Uh, Quadrabash. Bit crap. Do it again. Um, let's go for a triple whammy. There. Now this might be crazy, but I'm going to go for a Quadrobash again. Ugh. I'm out of focus. <laughs> this might be a fail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we still got a made one, it's just not a plus anything. Um, so let's see real quick, can we make anything else? Like we always check. We can make the Queen's Whip. I don't know how good it is, but we can make it, so we might as well. Quite a lot of uh, avenues here. Let's go for a Quadrabash. And a second one should do the trick. Amazing. Ooh. Oh, well, power of the next strike doubled. That's not good. Let's go for a lightning bash here. Uh, a normal bash. A normal bash. Yeah, good enough. Three perfect as well. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Alrighty, um, can we make any other weapons? 
Oh, uh, Divine Dagger, we've already got that. Nope. Armor. Nope. And accessories. Nope. Let's go through everyone's equipment. Uh, we've got the Sword of Light now, which is pretty good. Have to stick with the Sword of Light, right? Do I want to give him a second sword, though? Or a shield? Yeah, second sword, why not? Oh, wait. Any other helmets? No. No armors. No accessories. So do we have any spare? No, literally. Nothing. So it's just going to be a weapon change for everyone? Could give a sword to Eric. Um... It does, it does, nah, it's not enough of a damage increase to be fair. Hendrik, nope, nothing for you, nothing for you. Oh, we have got the Queen's Whip now. Can we dual, I oh, know, so the Whip is a two-handed weapon. Yeah, have to stick with the ones. Just makes the most sense. Oh! The magic shield actually gives me more magical might and magical mending. Well, I'll be a son of a gun. Oh, we did make the goddess's tiara. Alright, we got another knife. It's not better than that dagger, though. What was that? Silver Claws? Slightly more charm, no thanks. Bunny ears? No. And that's it. And we'll hit a rest. Do a quick save. And and head towards the uh, the Fortress of Fear, I think they called it. I should probably level everyone up as well soon. Because it sounds like we're getting towards the final boss of the game. However, when I googled this, when I googled this, uh, how long it takes to complete this game, it did say 60 hours, and as you can see here by the save point, we're about 36 hours in. Almost 37. But, you know, 23 hours shorter than the Google recommendation? Seems a bit... incorrect. I also don't know where I'm going. Where do I go? I want to go up. But that being said, we've not played any of the 2D mode. And maybe that could add an extra 10, 15, 20 hours onto the, the playtime. Or maybe when I googled it, it didn't come that as all. Well. Yeah. yeah! I think, sorry. I think we definitely kill this dragon rider. And take the dragon out of here. Tactics, everyone fight wisely apart from this guy. Let's go. Line up. Three seventy-seven. Three sixty-three. Silvano takes the stage. Victory will be ours. Get him, team. Not bad. Ha! Idiot. Nice, one down already. 300 damage and he's still standing. That's kind of huge. Oh, there we go. Why would you do victimize if they're not poisoned? Yay! Who 
I haven't burned any skill points on yet. I'll wait until we're right before the boss fight, because then we know what weapon skills we're going to be leveling up. Let's do this. Uh, let's see, 325. 316. Uh, no. This is the team. Jeez. I want to see how much damage a normal attack does. Oh well. <laughs> well, it's not normally that much, I guess. <laughs> Victory is ours. Love it. Everyone's loving it up. Um, up. Uh, this is the fastest way we go up, but I'm fairly sure this is faster than sprinting around. I think. <laughs> I'm actually not sure. Thank you, Dragon. You serve us well. Could this be it? The thing is, this can't be the end. Because I do feel like there's more to learn from the Seer, maybe. But also, the main thing is, the dude that destroyed... The dude that destroyed the Erdwin's star. We're going to have to fight him first, right? We still need to find out what that's all about. And that'll be separate from the Lord of Shadows himself. It's time to do this. There's definitely no other random floating islands we can go to, no? It's time to end this. I keep thinking I can go up and down, but I can't. There we go. We're coming in! It's a nice place. The barrier surrounding the Fortress of Fear melts away. So this is it. It's time to go and get our revenge. <sighs> Bye, whale. Oh no, sorry, we're still on the whale. Let's go, whale. Oh, Jasper? Forgot about that guy. <laughs> so we've got the Blade of Darkness and we've got Jasper. To deal with before we do the Lord of Shadows himself. Oh, is that a save point? Might be the last save point of the game. Mordigan's domain, at last. We must be on our guard. <gasps> Look out! <sighs> ah! What in the... Of 
course. I would expect no less from the vanquishers of my fellow spectral sentinels. Didn't Eric fight this guy? So I don't know if this is the same guy that destroyed Erdwin's star. I don't think it is, but it could be. Um, everyone, follow Let's orders. Let's go. Uh, line up. Whoa! Some of our guys are hurt. Three six eight. Sop for you. Three sixteen. Sop for you. This will be our opening team. Is there anything I can do to help? I'm ready for anything. Start by poisoning this guy. Amazing. Um, let's go revamp. Uh, Devil's Delight. I mean... He looks like a demon, but he's probably not. Let's go for... Oh, I do have sap, yeah. Here you are. Not bad. Crikey. Crikey, okay. That's a lot more damage than I was expecting. Nice. I should heal because I don't know if uh, Rab's gonna get a turn. You're not giving. Thank you. Watch out. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Do a multi heal, why not? Leave it to me. I mean, we're doing decent damage, but he's, he's a bit of a menace. He's doing crazy damage. Big dodge. Oh, yellow health already, okay. We are making a dent, that's good. Oh, that's... Okay, that's fine. I mean, he's still poisoned, so Victimizer will do loads of damage next turn. Thank you. Normal attack, we love that. Rab, you're going to be the main healer. We'll do more to heal again. We've got MP to spare, so we might as well make everyone healthy. And bye, attempt number two. Bye. Let's get another sap going if we can. Who did that hit? <laughs> oh wait, my my divide went away. Leave 
give it to me. Thank you. He's in orange health. God, it, it's all up that parry. Henry just parried and saved his own life. Didn't do it that time though. Okay, so Colo. Who's going to do more damage over time? I actually don't know. Um. God, I actually don't know. Hendrik doesn't. Okay, we're gonna. Yeah. Time to duck and dive. So the question is, I guess it doesn't matter. I was gonna say, do I make focus on healing? Thank you, darling. Oh no! That is such an extreme move. Oh no. Okay, he survived. Good, good, good. Head up. Not bad. Hmm. If I don't heal, Silvando dies. If I heal Rab, they could both die. If it fails to heal Rab, then it's just a bad move overall. Okay. Oh no, please don't have a big move that kills everyone. Alright, so, okay. I was gonna say. Uh, saving Rab was a waste of time, but he did attack Rab, so we managed to. Uh, Look out below! Preoccupy him. Still not getting poisoned. Yucks. I want to do a more heal on Sylvando. Thank you. Oh my word! Everyone just died. What the hell? Why did he do so much damage to Kolo? Oh, for. Goodness gracious. Okay. It did like 140 damage to everyone else and 209 damage to Colo, who had 208 health. That's annoying. Um, try again. Your brains await. Let's go. Okay. Let's pick the strongest team this time. Probably this team, right? Two big healers that can multi heal and uh, then damage dealers. Is there anything I can do to help? Thinking about it, Jade might do more damage than Hendrik. That new move that she's got is pretty huge. Oh god, almost started a fight with no one following orders. Let's keep at it. Okay, so we'll start with a sap. You brought this on yourself. Then crushed ice. 250 damage. It's not actually that much more damage than uh, than Hendrik would have done. The MP seal is so crap. Dazzle, no. I mean, yeah, if it works. Damn. That move is so ridiculous. So ridiculous. How? Oh my gosh. So ridiculous. Pearly Gates is is an option.
Let's go for a multi heal. Because I'm fairly sure that heals people on the back line as well. What's my strongest attack? I actually don't know. Let's go Cassis. Not that strong. Not too bad. Serena. Having two healers out is actually a bit of a waste, I'm now realizing. Perhaps this will help. Huh? Oh my word, okay. I thought he died as well. Can Serena resurrect? Okay, good. Zero damage. Yes. Uh, sing. Good. <laughs> well, we've lost. Here goes nothing. This has gone so much worse than our first attempt. I should heal with Hendrik, but I think I've already given up. I've failed. Is there a way to just sort of give up? so sad let's see if it does why not why is all experiment nope okay <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what team to start with here at least the auto save isn't too far away so we're not wasting loads of time I'm not entirely sure we'll be able to beat this boss on this attempt. We've got how much long left? But 20 minutes? This could be a 20 minute fight. So if we fail once or twice more, then suddenly we just can't do it, you know? Let's do this. Tactics. Everyone follow orders. Line up. I honestly don't know. Maybe Serena. And then three damage dealers. It's also dawning on me now that I should realistically level people up. How are you going <laughs> to... Almost just randomly killed two of us in one turn. That's a bit mental. Okay. Probably multi heal. Take care. He's so strong. So strong. Let's 
go for Eric. I've got your back. A bit annoying that he's fucking parrying everything. That's fine. Big dodge, huge. Couldn't ask for a better turn, really. He's in yellow health. He hasn't got a lot of HP, that is one thing, but he is just so strong. I would love it if he stopped parrying everything. Big dodge, let's go! Oh no, how are you going to paralyze my two healers? That's crazy. Um, Rab for Jade, and then hopefully he'll get a turn, I guess. He doesn't get a turn. Flip. Carlo's dead. I don't really know what that does, but Jade coming out. Is it my turn? Come on. Where's my doppelganger? Oh, that must be what the, the orb does. You're in safe hands. Thanks. My least favorite move. Because it will kill someone at full health. I think we've lost again. This is very annoying. I'm out of MP. Rab a lot, and the boulder bringer's gone. Our oh, Rab's dead. I've got no more resurrections. And this guy's still in yellow health, so even if we get him down to orange, we're not going to be able to kill him in time. Damn, he's so strong. And of course he knocks people down, because because why wouldn't he really? Flip! This isn't over. Okay. We're gonna have one more attempt. Hopefully it'll be the right attempt. And because I know we're gonna have one more attempt, this is where we You know uh, no. This is where we level up. So, Colo's using a sword, but he's also got luminary skills. Let's go pep chats. Uh, zap. Oh, that's where I get zap. Okay. I had these before, and then I lost them all when I lost my luminary powers. And then when I gave my luminary powers back, it just didn't re-give me my skills back. We've got sword stance, we've got miracle slash, which heals me. I've got to have a weird feeling that it doesn't heal me a lot, though. Giga Slash, not bad, but not really going to help me in this fight. Let's go Zap. In fact, wait. Agility could be good. Yeah, let's do this one. We're going to go Sword Stance. So then we can get Attack Power with Swords. Alright, who's next? Eric. Who's using a Boomerang right now. Maybe I should give him a sword, because we're only fighting one dude, but we'll see. Starburst throw, power throw. Double down. 
An attack on all enemies with a pair of boomerangs that can make them more susceptible to status ailments. None of these are really handy. Let's go Starburst throw. Maybe it'll do decent damage. Serena, my wand user. Enables the user occasional assassin or twice an extra. That 65. Oh my words. Is that like a passive thing? Be like that's a spe spooky aura. Wizard Ward. Unfortunately, I don't think any of it's really going to help. Enables the Pyman to avoid instant death attacks when HP is half or higher. Not not bad, but it's, it's not a move that I actually see myself doing. If everyone's at good HP, I would probably try and debuff the boss rather than buff my own teammates with a move like that anyway. I could oomph them. I could make them stronger, but... Silvando, what we got? Sleeper hit. I don't know. We'll learn this one. I don't know if sleeper hit would do a lot of damage. I, mean, I don't know if it would send him to sleep. Jade with a spear. Can't get critical hit chance. Can't get more HP. Can't get more agility. Can't get more allure, I mean charm. Can't get nothing, alright. Rab! Anti magic. MP absorption. Magical mending when wielding heavy ones. Yeah. So the heal do more. Zing stick. Oh! That's a much better skill! <laughs> An arcane art oh, that is guaranteed to revive a fallen party member. Now I need that very badly. Okay. Can we get any enlightenment with our last nine points? Nope. And Hendrik. Me boy. Inflict a good deal of damage. Fires frosty projectiles at a group of enemies. This doesn't work, right? It's a sword skill. Go double. Oh, I can't afford double up. I can't afford any of these. <laughs> okay, cool. Wasting my time. All right, here we go. Final attempt of the episode. Your brains await. Cross all your fingers. Everyone, follow orders. You again. Um, I honestly don't know who to start this fight with. Someone that can zap. Let's go Rab. He's probably... He's back. He can look. He's got slightly better healing. I want Sylvando, who can poison. I want Hendrik, who can do just good damage overall and who do I have as the fourth Jade, Colo, Serena or Eric Eric's got the boulder bringer which hurts him for like 70 damage every turn but it's not great Serena's a second healer but I'd like to bring out a healer if someone dies rather than have both my big healers out at the same time we could just go Colo let's try it Stay focused. Wish me luck. We are going to start with... Let me just double check I've got... Hmm. I feel like my normal attacks will do more damage. We'll go Falcon. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Then we'll try and sap. Nice and early. Okay. 
Then we'll try and poison. Um... Attracts all enemy attacks of the user for a few turns while also making them invincible. I can't use Knight's Watch without using Knight's Mandate first. Okay. Flip. I've been learning the wrong spells. Significantly raise the defense. Oh, yes. Kabba. Do not give in. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, we survived. Oh my word. Um, now let's just get damage out of the two in the middle. No, we have to focus on healing. Solar Flare would be good, but I don't think it's the right move. We have to heal. Could go multi-heal, and I will. Save hands. Thank you, Savannah, for blocking the first attack. Okay, you know what? We take that. We take that all the way to the bank. That's the kind of damage I like to see. Um, I guess we'll do Solar Flare now. I don't I don't think it's that strong. It's a good, like, group attack. I feel like it's going to do, like, 300 damage. Which isn't, like, amazing. We'll take 450. That's decent. He's in yellow HP already. Okay, ram has been knocked down, but apart from that, I'm, I'm happy. Poisoned again. Um, we're going to focus on healing Rab. Hendrick, just do some more damage. Prepare to be punished. I hear ya. Okay, normal attack is fine. That's rough. That is so rough. That is so rough. Is there anything I can do to help? Two of us paralyzed is just just awful. She won't get a turn, will she? Survive, Serena! That's fine. It, I think it just removes all of our buffs, which is nothing. Oh no, multi heal. Thank you. Okay. Not happy with it, but we'll take it. Oh my god. He attacked everyone equally. Damn it, Serena! Of all the people to die there, I really did not want it to be you. Um, who does more damage out of these two? I mean, obviously Jade. Need some help. I wish I had a group heal. I'm going to have to heal Kolo. Oh my god. I think I'd rather have Sylvando alive than Hendrik. Even though Hendrik can heal. <laughs> Maybe I just made the wrong choice. I think this is 
is gonna kill Jade. But just Jade, I'm happy with. We're getting a little bit slicey dicey. Um. Please poison. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Sorry, Hendrik. This is what's scary. I've got to waste a turn healing myself. And he could just undo all of it if he wanted to. I don't think it's worth doing any of these. I'm going to attack with Hendrik. Otherwise we'll never attack. We have to start doing damage at some point. Yes! Yes! I could have chose to heal with Hendrik there, and then it would have been the boss's turn and he could have killed all of us. <laughs> Incredible. Oh. I was convinced that we'd be stuck in this guy for a while. What a tank. How? How could mere humans defeat the mighty Indinus? Is this the power of the Luminary? But it matters not. No matter how hard you fight, this world belongs to the Lord of Shadows. What is done cannot be undone. Time past is lost forever! That's big words from a dead man. Is this the last orb? I actually have no idea. I feel like we've gained so many orbs. The Lord of Shadows awaits within. Onward. <laughs> the Lord of Shadows certainly does wait within, but... Hear me, Jasper. There's one more boy. The fate that has bound us together for so long ends here. Today. Alright. First of all, we have to save, and last of all, we will be saving, and we get to heal, amazing. Team, this is going to be the end of our episode. Thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate you all, as always. Hopefully, uh, you know what, I have no idea. I googled how long it takes to complete this game, and it said 60 hours. We are currently... Let's just save the game and find out exactly how long we're in. Thirty-seven hours in, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but we're going to go through this place, fight Jasper, get to the throne room or wherever it's going to be, and fight Mordigan. Is that not going to be the end? Who knows? Anyway, I've been your boy LF Jake. This has been episode forty-one of our Dragon Quest playthrough, and I hope to see you in the next one. But until then, take care of yourself. And ciao.